What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to continue working on the 2013 GMC Sierra and in the previous episode on this build you guys seen we got the truck painted like the doors, the fender, the hood and a few other parts. We did get some trash in the paint job which I'm not complaining about at all especially working in this environment. We should be able to pull it off in wet sand and buff the truck out and then whatever imperfections are left will just give the truck its own character. I'm just trying to stay as positive as I can and it's all about learning and growing in your own experience. Right now we're going to go ahead and start throwing the truck together. Let's get started.
I've got the fender and the hood installed. It's fully adjusted and it's not coming back off. I'm not gonna do it this way anymore. Technically, I should have just trimmed the fender out, got it installed on the truck, and then painted it with it being on the truck because it's very easy to put scratches on it like I did right over here. It's not a big deal, but anyways, we got the door handles on, got the moldings on, the mirrors on, and we still have to glue our door moldings on, but we'll do that a little bit later. I can't really move on with the fender liner. I'm missing this one little bracket that goes right here on the reservoir. I'm pretty sure my brother has it, but it's in his truck. He went out jet skiing, so we'll see if he has it. If he doesn't, I'm just gonna run to the junkyard in the morning, and then we could button up all these clips. Right now, I guess I'm just gonna install this headlight and get this one right here replaced. Since it is kind of in rough shape, I did find an old one from my brother's old truck and it's in a lot better shape. We're not gonna worry about throwing some aftermarket lights on it. We're just gonna keep it as it is. And then I'm gonna see if I can install this lower valence without taking the still bumper off. next day here guys so the bracket that my brother had of course was for the wrong side i made it here to the local salvage yard not the stiller ship hopefully we could find these parts and this is what makes my builds budget friendly so let's do some looking and hopefully we can get everything we need so i think i spoke a little too early it's kind of hard to find little parts like this because most vehicles are smacked in the front. I found the passenger side, but we're not giving up just yet. So I just found this 2013 Silverado and yeah, it doesn't look like there's a little bracket that goes on this side. So you can see the fender liner just bolts onto the reservoir and it doesn't look like this side got hit too hard. So it should be there if it had one. So I think we're good. I got a few other clips and bolts that I needed, so let's get back to the house. So I was just now getting ready to leave and check this out. Here's the same Ford police car that we seen at the auction in Chattanooga. I'll go ahead and play that footage. Pretty clean looking truck right here. Pretty clean underneath. Why is he running these weak 33s, man? Got the long bed. So yeah, it looks like it's just this front clip right here. Oh boy, look at that frame rail. Yeah, this one's gonna give us issues with inspectors. I don't think it's for us. Plus it's got 246. It's kind of hard to find low mileage trucks nowadays. Look at this sheriff car. What I do wanna check out is some of these trailers over here possibly get a good deal on a brand new trailer yes sir still smells like dog dang that's pretty wild got one more truck right here i'm gonna check out just to be sure Hey, pasa, amigo. I am talking. talking for yourself. Something. Are you working hard?
So I got the front clip back together. The truck is starting to take shape and it looks pretty spicy if you ask me. I think color matching that top lip was the move. It just flows so much cleaner with the grill and the rest of the truck instead of that texture style. We do still have to order a few more parts to complete it 100%. Like this little trim on the hood, not too big of a deal. Right now let's jump on this fender liner, get all this tucked away. So I got the door trim installed, the letters are on, and then I found out why this fender liner was so cheap. I got it off of eBay. It's like this very flimsy plastic and fits up like garbage as you can see. I didn't find out about it until I was ready to get it installed. The OEM ones are like rigid and take shape of the fender. We'll get another one on order. All right, now let's jump inside and get the door panels on. So now that we got the truck all back together, before we start whipping it around here and there, I do wanna go ahead and replace our oil pressure sensor. So if you guys remember a couple videos back when I was clearing the airbag light, some of you did notice this, our oil pressure was low, and then sometimes the check oil light will come on. And this is a pretty common problem with these trucks. My brother had to replace both of his, as well as the fuel pump module. It's not showing an accurate measurement on the fuel gauge, but you do have to drop the fuel tank. We're not gonna get around to it in this video. We'll do it some other time. Right now, let's go ahead and pop this cover and get this thing replaced. So once you pop the engine cover off, it just snaps onto these little studs right here. The sensor is all the way back here. I've already got it unplugged. I'll be using this 27 six point socket. It's a little easier with the swivel. Let's go ahead and get it out of here. So I got the oil pressure sensor replaced. This will be the second time. The first time I tried to buy one off eBay and save a little bit of money, but it bit me in the butt. So I ran to O'Reilly's and got this Dorman brand. I've been running it for about 10, 15 minutes and it's doing just fine, but we're about to go take the truck out for a spin. And yeah, people were saying that it took him like two hours to get it replaced. It took me like five minutes, maybe 10 with recording and cleaning up all the tools. Anyways, let's go rip this truck. Yes, sir. Took the truck out for a spin, topped her off. Oil pressure seems to be fine. And the first time I replaced it with the cheap eBay sensor, I didn't really replace the screen because it didn't come with one. You can always clean this, 
but that could have been our problem the whole time and not the sensor itself. But just for good measure, we got the Dorman brand in there with the brand new screen and the truck seems to be doing fine. So that's a wrap for today. We got the GMC back on the road and I'm super excited. There are still a few final things we have to do to the truck, like wet sand and buff it out, but I can't really get around to it this week. I have to start on this other project for my cousin, which I've already pushed off for like a week, just to get the GMC sitting at where it is today. Anyway, stay tuned for that video. And if you're new on the channel and you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and drop a like to support the channel. Also, give us a follow on Instagram at Danny.tv. Drop any suggestions you have down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Peace out.